Subcutaneous injection, let's look at how to avoid the scooping technique or the resheating the cap. So without resheating the cap, how am I going to give the injection? So how to avoid these errors? So let's look at it. So you got the syringes here. You can get a normal syringe without the safety cap. And the second one is you have the syringe with the safety white cap. So that white cap is where you can push it at the end and throw it into the sharp bin, which I'm going to show you while I'm doing the procedure. So now here, so you will have a vial given that is for the insulin medication where you got to draw the medication. Now sharp bin is available for you. You only need to use the sharp bin at the end when you're throwing the insulin syringe. Now, good thing about insulin syringe is needle is within it. You don't need to connect the needle and you just draw the medication with the same needle. You're going to inject the patient. Let me show you how to prepare the medication, how to administer the medication without doing resheathing or recapping the cap for the needle. So now I'm going to first perform my hand hygiene. I'm going to only show you preparation and administration. There are other steps involved where you need to do ID check, where you need to do that at the beginning. So I've done hand hygiene. Now I'm going to wear the apron. So I need one pair of glove, check the integrity of the glove, which is the expiry date. I'm going to wear the glove. Now I'm going to check the medication. Please check the medication. Common error people do with any medication is not reading the medication name, dose and the expiry date. Make sure you read that loudly and then cross check with the prescription whether six rights of the medications are met and then whether prescription is legible and valid. Please read out loudly and say that. So once you have done that, so you will need to clean the medication. So I'm going to use the alkawipe or the chlorhexidine wipe. So ideally the chlorhexidine wipe. Clean the medication and most important here is cleaning the medication for 30 seconds, allowing it to dry for 30 seconds. Place that into the tray. You can discard it and wipe into the yellow bin if it is closer, but just leave it there for now or then you can throw it at the end. So now I am going to prepare the medication. So I'm going to peel open the syringe. I'm going to use the safety syringe. That's where a lot of people struggle. Take the cap off, save the cap in the tray, but you don't need the cap anymore now with these new changes. So I'm going to draw the medication. So whatever units has been prescribed, whether it's 14 units or, you know, eight units, let's say I've been prescribed 14 units there. You can turn this particular bevel and to read. Okay, hold it there and turn it if you want to see the reading properly. So I can see there, I'm going to make sure I'm going to take the air bubble off and bring it to 14 units. Hold it on the tray if the excess falls off. So I've got there 14 units now. Now, here, now resheathing is not allowed or the scooping is not allowed. Once prepared, you go straight to the patient with the gloves and apron. You have already inspected the skin site and verbalized that. If not, you can do it now again. That's where people forget that. So now pinch hold the skin because it's a subcutaneous and go 90 degree 
and give the medication over slowly over 10 to 30 seconds. And remove the needle and let the skin go. You apply the cotton swab. So apply a gentle pressure. What do you do with the syringe? Number one, easy method is throw the syringe into the sharp bin without locking the safety cap to avoid if you don't know what to do. If you know what to do, so you just push this white bit with the thumb all the way until it locks. All right, once it's locked, you can discard into the sharp bit. Okay, that's the best way to do it. And then you can apply the plaster or the offer the plaster. Done. I'm going to remove my gloves. Discard into clinical waste bin. I'm going to remove my apron. I'll cojel my hand. And I am going to complete my signature and date and time. Date, you can put the exam date that you have and then, then talk about storing the insulin and cleaning the tray, making sure staying with the patient, rechecking the patient, all the other steps you can cover. Do a final hand hygiene and then leave. This is how you avoid the errors with the scooping and resheathing. As you saw in the video, scooping and resheathing is 100% not allowed.